guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a challenge. I'm going to be using only samples um, which have come from Sephora orders or my Ipsy boxes or my Birch box or my BoxyCharm box. I have a whole bunch of samples and I think it would be cool to just sit down and see if I can get an actual full face of makeup using just samples. So if you're so if you want to see how it turns out, please keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more videos like this. So let's get right into the makeup look. So my eyes are already done. I actually filmed this look on a previous video. So if you want to see that, I'll link it down in the description box. So first things first, we always have to prep the skin. And I have this cute little Clinique Prep Start um, high hydration moisturizer and it's so cute and little so this is what I'm going to use to moisturize my face so I just applied the moisturizer so the primer I'm going to be using is a professional I'm just going to take a little bit and put it where my pores are the biggest so right in this area, I'm just going to apply it, a little bit on the forehead, whatever I have left over on my fingers, it kind of just go all over the skin. Okay, so next, since the skin is primed, I have to do foundation and I actually have, I have uh, this locket foundation from Kat Von D and I have it in the shade medium oh, that's so funny guys there's actually a primer for this foundation on the top so I was joking I didn't need to use this but I guess I'm just gonna use this as well this is a pore primer I think this is just a locket primer which keeps everything locked in so it doesn't hurt to do both so I'm gonna use this primer It's white. It looks like and feels like the Too Faced hydrating primer. Mmm, feels so good on the skin. It's very cooling. Okay. So I'm back with my damp beauty blender and I'm going to use the pocket foundation in medium number 54. So I'm just going to do my usual routine with how I apply my foundation. I'm just going to dab it all over. It feels like a thick consistency. And I don't mind it. I actually like the consistency. When it's a bit thicker, I feel like it's easier to work with. It's not running all over the place. And I can place it exactly where I want it to be. It's more controlled, I guess. Okay. So once we have foundation, just gonna go in and blend. The color match is actually pretty perfect for my skin right now. So I'm pretty impressed. Wow. This is really nice. It has a very high coverage like it's covering everything like I have a little dot on my nose right here and it's literally gone <laughs> I don't like to put too much foundation under the eyes because um, I do concealer there and I don't like too much layers too many layers because then it turns out to look a little bit cakey and I don't like cakey looks. I love cake, but not a cake face. So 
So once we're done with the foundation, we're gonna move on to concealer. And for concealer, I have the NARS One For All Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've heard a lot of great things about this and I've never tried it. So I have the color Vanilla Light 2, Custard Medium 1, and Hazelnut Medium Dark 4. I think I'm gonna use Custard Medium 1, which is the middle color. So, I hope this is enough because it's a very tiny amount. But we're just gonna work with what we got. Oh, I really like that color on me. But maybe we can mix in vanilla just to make it brighter. I don't know. I'm just using my hands to dab it in first. Then I'm gonna go in with my... Oh, you definitely don't need a lot of this product. That's probably why they give you such a little amount just to show that a little bit goes a long way just because I feel it so it's creamy but it's thick and this just this little amount feels like it's already without even blending out covering a lot so let's try this out wow I really am enjoying the formula of this, the color of this, and the way it's making my under eyes look it's amazing. Really it. Somebody's doing some kind of construction upstairs. Wrong time, homeboy. Sorry guys. Whatever's left on my beauty blender and bring it down to my chin area, go back up to my forehead, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose just because that's where I like to put my highlighter, mean concealer. Um, so once that's done, I don't have a sample size um, bronzer. So, I think I'm just going to use the hazelnut color from um, NARS on the same little package. Let's see how dark. Well, that's a nice dark color. A little too warm. I could use this as a cream bronzer. I'm just going to use my finger to place it where I want it. Like so. On the other side. Okay, so once this side and this side are done, I'm going to add a little bit to my forehead. So now that the foundation has settled into my face, um, I feel like it changed color a little bit. As you can tell, I'm more olivey, warm skin tone here. And then my face looks a little bit pale and pinky, but I feel like adding this bronzer, well, concealer as bronzer. It's gonna help to warm it back up a little bit. Cause it's not looking so... Because it's a little too pinky for me, so hopefully this will help. Okay, so once I set it everywhere that I want it, I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. Just a contour, and this is a little bit. Okay, once that's set, I'm going to use the back end of my beauty blender to just blend it. Oh, it's blending up really nicely. Yeah, so it's definitely 
warming up the face. Um, I feel like I need to add some Fix Plus because my blender feels like it's already drying up. Yes, it's much easier to blend when you have fixed plus on it. So we're going to keep blending the whole face. And I'm gonna use the NARS, I think this is the NARS Orgasm Brush. I've heard a lot of great things about this too, but I've never actually tried it. Okay, so we're gonna use blush brush, just go into it. Let's see. Well, I actually really like that. And if you notice, I didn't use any powder to set my foundation, so the fact that this powder is blending out so nicely on top of the blackout foundation is really impressive. And I like that because especially in the winter time, sometimes I don't want to set it because um, it doesn't look too flattering because my skin's already dry and then in the winter it gets even drier. And when I put powder on top of the foundation sometimes, any foundation, doesn't matter which kind, it just looks super dry and cakey. So sometimes I prefer to just leave it without setting, especially if I'm just going out for a couple hours. Um, my foundation doesn't seem to ever move around or anything. The only place I probably set is my under eyes, just because I like to have it um, crisp and clean there. And also, there is no creasing happening when I set it, and it just looks brighter, which I like a bright under eye, but not super bright, just a little bit. But this blush is a beautiful color, and it's blending out like a dream on top of the foundation, which I'm, like I said, really impressed with. And I like that this has a little bit of a sheen, it gives your cheek a glow without having to use highlighter. So once the blush is done, I'm gonna go in with this cute little sample from Cover Up Facts, the Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in the color Moonlight. So I don't have a powder highlighter again. So I'm just gonna use three drops on the highest point, four drops the highest points of my cheeks. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Again, put some Fix Plus to make sure it's nice and damp. I'm just gonna go in and move that. So I'm gonna blend out those drops, my beauty blender. It's like a beaming highlight. I really enjoy it. For lips, I'm gonna use this Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon. I got this in one of my boxy charms. I'm just gonna use this as a lip liner. It's a really pretty color. Like so. I have my lips lined. Next I'm gonna go in with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang by Marc Jacobs. It's a cute little sample. I think I got this from my um, Sephora birthday perks thingy. Like every time you have a birthday, you, <coughs> you can choose from the free options at Sephora. I forgot what it's called. But if you shop at Sephora, you know what I mean. Really pretty rosy pink color. 
really love it. It's a creamy formula. Yep, it's called lip cream, so it's not like um, a matte lipstick or anything. So this does it for the look. I think I should have a setting spray, like a mini one that I got in one of my boxy charms. So I'm gonna go see if I can find it, and we'll use that to spray on. But other than that, this look is almost done. Okay, I'm back. So I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's a cute little mini one. I think I got this as a sample from my boxy charm as well. Oh my god, it's not spraying. It's so weird. Is it supposed to be like that? The spray feels so stiff. Oh my god. Okay. I guess that has to do. That was a complete fail, but I think it got the job done. So once we have the spray on, I like to go back in with my beauty blender and just make sure everything is really blended out. Okay loves, that's all for the look. I really love it and if you like it too, please don't forget to like this video and comment for what you'd like to see next. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.